Good morning, everyone. I wanted to talk today a little bit about uh, what's something that's called Pavlonian conditioning. Basically, it's a fancy word for habits, and it's a fancy word for what's triggering you to eat inside of a habit. So I wanted to hop on because I think a lot of us struggle with this. Um, if you're like a couch eater or you eat in front of the TV or you have to have something right after you have dinner, uh, maybe it's something sweet or maybe you're having another snack almost immediately, something of that nature. It's nothing but a habit. And basically what you're doing is you're programming your mind to receive those snacks or to eat at that specific time, even though you might not be hungry. So to change that um, may sound easier said than done, but just like anything else in your life, if you have a habit that you're used to doing over and over and over again, you're, it's going to take some time. And it's also going to be very hard in the first couple of weeks or at least the first week because you're just, your mind is so programmed to have that food when you sit on the couch or, you know, if you're unwinding for the evening and you're watching your favorite show or whatever the case is, you're like, mine is immediately being like, I need to have chips. I need to have this. I need to have that. So in order to change it, you just need to get into a different habit. If you want to eat something healthier during that time, you can do that or maybe just not eat anything at all, especially if you've just had dinner. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, if you had dinner... <clears throat> like uh, 20 minutes ago or half an hour ago and you sit on the couch to have your tea and unwind for the evening, then I wouldn't really recommend having something right away. So it's all about reprogramming your subconscious mind. <clears throat> There's been many different situations where we've talked about this, but it is something called, it's just a fancy word, Pavlonian conditioning, where you're conditioning your brain to basically eat um, during habits. Okay. So it's just time to switch it up. It doesn't have to be complicated. Don't overthink it. You're starting to obviously go backwards in the sense that you're reprogramming your minds that you don't need to necessarily sit on the couch, have a bowl of chips and watch TV. Uh, because again, it's nothing but a habit. Just like if you have something or you need something really late at night before you go to bed, it's a habit. Um, just like we drink coffee in the morning, it's a habit. So we just need to kind of switch it up a little bit and really stay focused. The first couple of days, like I said, are definitely harder for you. Um, one other thing I want to talk about too is hunger cravings versus mind cravings because it's basically kind of the same thing. Our mind sometimes is craving, you know, junk food or sugar or, you know, chips or whatever the, the case may be. And it's actually really important to satisfy those cravings. It might be contradicting to everything that you've heard when we talk about weight loss, but here's what happens and correct me if I'm wrong. You deny that craving, deny that craving, deny that craving. And then if you end up eating that craving, whatever it is, you actually probably overindulge. Then you feel guilty. And then it's kind of like just a whole big cycle of you punishing yourself over and over and over again. Whereas if you were to actually fulfill that craving, but made a point of having a full balanced, nourishing, you know, not fast food, not, you know, um, crappy food, like saturated, et cetera before you indulged in that specific craving, then your body is going to respond a lot better because now, you know, you're eating a fiber rich food, um, meal, you're eating something that's packed with protein. That's what nourishment is. And then maybe afterwards you can treat yourself to that ice cream or that piece of chocolate or whatever the case is. And you're more likely to not overindulge because now you filled your stomach with protein which is satiating. You filled your stomach with fiber, which again is satiating. It's going to fill your stomach up. So you're probably more likely to have way less um, calories when it comes to like ice cream or that chocolate, because now you are rewarding yourself a little bit for having a nourished, you know, well-balanced meal. And you might have maybe a one fourth of the ice cream to satisfy that craving. Whereas if you deny it, deny it, deny it, then you're probably not going to make the best choices for your meal. Maybe you'll have something that is not whole foods or you'll have something that is already fast food or packed with sugar or something like that. And then you have the ice cream. It's just like a double-edged sword. So don't be very conscious of what mind hunger is and stomach hunger is. Okay. Because it's, it's also, you know, you have to satisfy those cravings and it might be redundant to say it again, but don't go backwards and don't make it make sure that you're also you know you're satisfying the craving but you have to have a well-nourished meal before because you're going to be less likely to overindulge and less likely you're going to be like consuming way more calories than you should so hopefully that makes sense to you and again it's all about conditioning your mind and that's you know the basis of this entire 
journey together is all about your mindset because you're a hundred percent in control of the choices that you make, whether it is food choices, it's workouts, it's your craving satisfying. So hopefully this message is loud and clear. This is not an excuse to eat ice cream every single day. Of course, that's not the deal. Um, Hopefully I get through to you and that you're not just like, oh, well, my coach said I could have ice cream if I eat a well-nourished meal. Obviously that's not the case, especially because it's dairy. You know how I feel about dairy. Um, but just saying you got to, you know, sometimes you need to take a really deep look at what those cravings are so you don't overindulge, but you can still actually enjoy the foods that you love. And that's really what what it's all about. We don't want to feel guilty about eating uh, junk food. We don't want to feel guilty about enjoying some of the things that we absolutely love to eat and enjoy because we, you know, we can't like, it's just kind of like the wrong mentality. If you are able to create a relationship with food where you're nourishing your body, you're getting the stuff that you need, then you should feel empowered to have a little snack or empowered to have ice cream or whatever the case is it's all about consistency it's all about being in a caloric deficit if weight loss is your goal and then even if maintenance is your goal if you're strong and you're lean you've got all this lean muscle mass on you then of course your body still needs energy to maintain that lean muscle which i'll do in a separate video altogether. but just wanted to hop on and talk a little bit about conditioning your mind uh, making sure that you're knowing the difference between hunger cravings and mindset cravings or mind craving, brain craving, whatever you want to call it. So if you have any questions, let me know, but have an awesome day and we'll talk to you soon.